Ladies and gentlemen, David Lemon here for you with another session of Lemonade. This is the number nine, Lemonade session nine. Um, this was something that I thought of, I think, I, I think would be a great idea. Um, I was doing a live stream one day and I said, you know what would be cool if I did a, like a lemonade or something like that where I actually help people live. And if, this is where the lemonade Q&A session was born. Uh, and yeah, a lot of people love it. So in case you're joining us, welcome. This is a Q&A session where you can ask questions about Groove, about how to build sites in case you are stuck somewhere. This is like a personal communication between you and me. So in case you have questions, please pop them in the comment section below. Um, or if you're watching on Facebook, some of you will have the comment section on the side. So just drop your comments there. In case you're watching the replay, you can still comment. I will see the notifications. Just make sure in case you're watching a replay and you have questions, questions to tag me so just tag at david uh, david lemon or something like that so that, so that i can actually see the, the the comments and the questions that you you type in so yeah we are uh, having a couple of people already joining in so in case you are here if you are watching just please jump in and say hi david i'm here i'm watching so that i can just welcome you and read out your name just say hi to you personally um I already have approximately 15-ish people watching, so uh, I will go in there and then welcome everybody that typed in their names already. So Martin Gouda is joining us. Uh, hi, David, singing in from, uh, or <laughs> singing, signing in from Norwich. Yes, Martin is singing to us. Um, Eldon is from New Zealand. Hello, David and all. Uh, Sean is here. Uh, hello, David Lemon. Leo is watching us. Hey, David. Awesome. So we have a good crowd over here. I love this. I actually was reading through some of the comments that were already posted there. Look at this, guys. Ron is watching us on YouTube. I joined GrooveFunnels 14 days ago with a lifetime platinum account. I have already recovered 75% of the entire amount before I made the first payment. Thank you very much for everything. This is what we like to see. Ron, awesome job and i am very happy that you are watching us i would love to help you get to the hundred percent or even thousand percent of what you actually invested so that you got back more than what you actually paid for this is what my goal is to every one of you i want to help you reach those extremely uh, high goals that you want uh, to achieve once in your life if this is to generate x amount of money or to get your business up and help x amount of people it is it is a, a goal and it is an accomplishable goal uh, you just need to get on it and work hard you will have questions on the way but this is why i'm doing this to actually answer those questions for you Awesome. So I have Guru S saying hi. Uh, Tina Joyner is here. Hi, David. Um, I have Anna. His hi, David. Question is: Is Groove Card down? I'm not quite sure, Anna. Well, we'll need to check. Um, Martin saying congrats to Ron. Awesome. Uh, Dean is saying hey, David. Hey, Dean. It's good to have you here. Uh, to show your name on Facebook, if you haven't done so, go to Streamyard.com. So yes, I cannot see anybody at this point except Dean, of course. Uh, but he is going to be putting his name i guess uh, into the comments when he is typing i'm not quite sure dean this is what tom and me tom and i was were discussing like do you have your name copy copied over in the clipboard and then you whenever you're typing you just control paste or, or control v and then you ask your questions <laughs> this is actually cool if you do that it makes the time of the writing the actual comment uh shorter Awesome. So I have already questions from Anna. Um, I will need to look into GrooveCart. I'm not quite sure. I didn't see anything happening about uh, in the back end. Usually we have a chat with the developers and everybody in, in who are working on this software. So I'll need to look into it. Awesome. So Ron is saying, hey, David. Awesome. Good to have you here, Ron. I can see you were watching us from YouTube earlier. You already posted your comments, so I will be answering them once we start. And I already have a couple of people saying, wow, Ron, how did you do that so fast? You sound amazing. Yes, I guess you sound amazing. Good morning, David. Barbara says, good morning, Barbara. Good to have you here. 
uh, use an app called Text Expander to do just that. Awesome. Good. Uh, thanks, Eldon. That's what Ron says. Perfect. So I have already a good crowd over here. So I already have my lemonade also. You can see my Hello Kitty is ready. So we can jump in to answer your questions. So if you don't, if you didn't do it yet, please pop in your questions and then I will be scrolling through the comment section and answering them. I also have a couple of questions that I didn't answer yet from the Facebook group. Um, and I will be going through those first and then I will actually jump in and then answering the, the questions for you. So I will start with these because uh, this is the uh, post I created today. Earlier I posted this one and a couple of people already posted their comments. So I will start with these and I will transfer over to the live comments. <laughs> and Dean is asking, can I still watch if I'm drinking iced tea? I don't think this is allowed, Dean. This is one of the rules of our of our group. You cannot, you are not allowed to actually drink iced tea on a lemonade session. This is highly prohibited. So unfortunately, Dean, you'll just need to you'll just need to pause and just just get yourself a, a nice fresh lemonade. No, I'm joking. But yeah, let's start with the answers. So James, James were, was asking where, how can I upload an XML sitemap? So I actually answered him immediately. This one mentioned in the last three Lemonade sessions. So this is actually true. I mentioned it in the last three. So, um, so if you... Uh, if you have the same question, you can just refer to this post. I actually posted the the exact link, what you can uh, click on, and you can see my answer. But basically, it is not available inside Groove Pages at this point. Okay, let's just go to the other one. How do I transfer a page from one site to another? So, Howard, this is a question that is great there was already a video i recorded on this exact topic so um um so i will actually mention it to you as well there is actually a couple of um, couple of things that transferring a page from one site to other another means if you are transferring your site within the same account of groove pages or in case you're transferring a site from your account to another account i will actually show you both because I don't know what you mean, but it is easy for me to show, so I will actually go in there and then show you that. Okay, so let's just say that... Okay, I'll use this one as an example. This is now my site, and I have this site that I'm working on, and I want to transfer it to another site on the same account, okay? So what you can do is you can do, for example, a couple of different things. This is one block. You can either save this block, so my whole page, whole, whole site is only one block. You can either save this block, you save it somewhere, let's just save it to no category, save it, now you have it saved. The second option you can do is to actually click over here and save as a personal page template, okay? This will be saving your uh, your design as personal page template. You will not see this save as global template because I'm on a different account um, than you guys, but yes, so save as personal uh, template and then you're good to go. Now, when you go out from, your, from this site that you were editing, so this is a one site, and now I want to go to, for example, Let's just go into a new site and then either you can choose a blank template your own templates which is going to be showing up here i'm not quite sure why it's not it's not showing up a um, a preview but it will actually show a preview like that once it is not buggy anymore but yes yeah, so you can just uh, click the select button and then it will be loading in that uh, personal uh, template that you saved earlier here we go. The other way is to actually, if you have only one block, your website is, is one block, you can just actually uh, come into the blocks section in the design blocks. You click all blocks and you find your block that you saved. You pull it out there and then you have this site. In case you have 
uh, in case you thought about how to transfer from your account to a different account then you have different options as well you can either export your site so when you click the export site you will get a zip file like that you can save it somewhere and then actually you can give this to to whoever you are transferring the site over to let me just actually save it for you so i i show you what i mean um you get a zip file with uh, an html file inside this is index.html and it is showing index.html because we only have one page over here which is called index if you would have another page that would be called hello kitty for example let me just create it over here and then i will give it a name hello kitty edit settings page name hello kitty and you need to press this button over here now the the changes are saved okay make sure you save it one more time here and now when you export the site in the same zip file that you export there should be two pages not only one as you can see this is the site in columns so it is actually uh, using the the url as you can see it is not the page name hello kitty but the url is the actual file name so this is now you can know that one as well but let me just show you what happens when you actually load this page in so you can actually click on it and it will be showing up like users that this is this is loading in from your own local computer local uh, disk if you want to import this um this html file you can either click to right click view page source and copy over this code or the other way is to export this HTML file to your desktop and once we are on the desktop you can just open this index file open with and then you choose an app which is the best way is to use notepad notepad over here and then this is the same code that you would have gotten if you would have right clicked on it it's just a different way so you just copy over this code you come to you come to the come to another account from your from another user or wherever you want to actually uh, put the site put this template in. You come over here to source source code. You paste that in, save and bada bim bada boom. You have everything that is exported. Everything is editable, and you are good to go. You just need to save it, and then you are on your way to conquer the world. So um howard this is the answer to you i'm not quite sure what you wanted to know uh, from one account to another or just another site but now you know both hi sir may i ask can group funnels be used to capture and store email subscribers also can group funnels be used to send newsletters and autoresponder emails thank you likawati De devi or Lisa what I'm not quite sure what the what the name is pronounced like but it cannot do that yet this will be um, this will be possible once Groovemail is out and I believe somebody already answered this um, yes when this will be when Groovemail comes out and then it's supposed to be launched on inf infographic it says 24th of august yes so there's an infographic outside in the facebook group in case you didn't see it yet this is available um let me just open a new tab over here so whenever you are in the groove digital facebook group below the popular topics in post you have the recent files groove 2020 schedule infographics you can click on it and then you can see the infographic it is awesome and there is a lot of different things that you can wait for um with your investment into this platform you will get all the future updates and this is amazing in case you watch that infographic you will be very happy with your investment so in case you didn't invest yet please do it is the best thing you can do in your life not to, in your life but best investment you can do within this century believe me <laughs> Question one, when setting up a contact form, how to set up the email address that the message should be sent to? So at this point, you can set it up using Zapier, and this is the easiest way, Simon, in case you are watching this as a replay. Um, I can actually show you now. So once you go to YouTube, you can type in contact form, Zapier, Groove, 
or groove pages you will find in the the this video setting up zapier to automate your forms on groove pages you click on this one it is a video that you can actually um you can actually watch quickly and then you will learn step by step how to create a form how to how to automate it so we created this form uh, what you need to do to actually connect it you can also learn how to use zapier to to receive and send your information to wherever you would like it to go to um, okay this is the first question the second question when switching a domain from its uh when switching a domain so it's from the old site and after the after changing the server code uh, given Cloudflare, how and where is the address code applied? Host tandgrouppages.com. If I haven't received any answer from support yet about it after days, Simon, this is a good question. On this one, I have another video which I would suggest you to watch. There is also videos in the Groove Digital Academy, a shorter ones. I created a step-by-step -step exact guide you will need to follow. So, guide domain groove pages okay full guide on getting your domain connected to groove pages this is actually time stamped already so you can just see um you can just click on different elements uh, for example in case you want to know uh, things about Cloudflare. What are the benefits of Cloudflare? You you click on it and it actually shows shows up the video wherever I am talking about that. So you can go. Can I use subdomain with Cloudflare? So you can go and search through the the sections of the video. You can also look through here in this play bar. But this video goes through the whole step-by-step uh, -step system of how to actually go purchase a domain, how to go connect it to Cloudflare, how to connect from Cloudflare to Groove Pages. This is inside this video. Okay, so Simon, I hope I answered both your questions. There is in-depth tutorials and in-depth explanations on both of these questions. Um, okay, let me just jump in to this comment section over here. I would like to just see what is happening and going on. Um, pom, pom, pom. Maybe answer a couple of questions from here first. So Ron is asking, hey, David, what can you do with the list container elements? So that's a good question. I haven't played with it a, a lot, but let's just test it out together. Okay, like that. So I have a wireframe block. Let's just use this one. And now I want to go into elements lists and there is a list container so list container is used uh, try drag some uh, list elements onto it so when you are dragging in some list elements which are for example icon list items image list items and regular list items so you can do different things you type in your your text over here and then using this um list container itself you can see i have chosen the list container you have some different options where where you can sort uh, or unsort you have a sorted list or unsorted list you would probably know what this one is in case you have um, for example by numbers or from how much text is it or inside typed out but basically this is the container where you would manage all this information if you have step one to do this step two step three step four and you have it all over the place you can just click on on sorted list and then this will be sorted you can also choose how to sort it by decimal number by lower latin upper latin lower roman upper roman so you can just test this out i haven't played with it a lot but i believe this is very very good when you have uh, for example like feature uh, feature blocks where you are uh, putting lists of features or things like this so the container itself gives you a lot of different extra options that you can play with so i would just highly suggest you to go and test it out in case you have content that would go into lists at this point i don't have uh but you would probably have your own content put in there and then you can play around with it let's just see what it can actually do so it is not changing so you have sorted lists you have different options and you have unsorted lists and then it gives you another different options square 
I don't see anything changing, but I believe this is because I didn't modify these, uh, these icon list items. So that's it. Not a lot of explanation, just to go out there, test it out, see what you can do with it. The list container gives you an, uh, extra options. I haven't used it, to be honest with you. I was just using the icon list items on a block. It's already in the container itself. Uh, hi, David. What can you do with a tab section in Elements? Okay, so he's asking me about every single element. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Where is the tab? Tab section. I need to pull a block inside. Like that. Tab section. So let's say that you want to, for example, um, explain more about your services or something like that. You wouldn't put a lot of different uh, content over here uh, in different columns. What you could do is actually separate them in different tabs. So for example, you click on this tab and you name it. Let's just see, do four tabs. The first tab will be called, um, I don't know, um, washing. Second one would be ironing vacuuming and the fourth one would be or organizing if I would be able to type that would be awesome so now you can actually explain these services so washing we do extremely well wash we <laughs> we wash your clothes extremely well here are some pictures here are some testimonials da, 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 da. you can actually explain your services then you can do ironing then you can do vacuuming then you can do all kinds of different stuff but you can not only do these ones you uh you can actually do different pricings, for example. So in case you type in here, um, you have the, I don't know, basic package. Or something like that. So you explain the basic package in depth over here. So what it gets you, um, you put a, a pricing table on here and things like this. So you can do actually a lot of interesting stuff uh, more in depth than when you would just line things up so that your page is huge and it would uh, it would just be a mess on your on your site. So this way you can simply organize it for people in case they're looking for certain uh, information they can just click and find it very easily. Um, yes, it is actually a pretty cool thing and we are actually creating a template that will be using this uh, as a services as to to show up different services from one company. Um, hey David, is it possible to create an input field in a form that the buyer can choose from different options? Um, I think so. Let me just see. That's a good question. Um, I think we can only do it with the checkbox. So let's just see. Um, so you know when you're creating forms, I also have a video on that, how to create custom forms. When you want to create your custom form, you need to first pull in the form element itself. Then you can put in, for example, uh, a label that will be connected to a checkbox where in the checkbox you actually type in over here in the configure like option one okay. then you duplicate it and then again and again and then basically you put option two option three option four so they can only press for example dun, 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 submit they can only press submit if one of these options is chosen so you would need to just set it up in the configure checkbox is required uh for for the one that you actually want to 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 give um let's just see checkbox is required in case you're offering a lot of of checkboxes i don't think this is a smart to to have this but um you can just type in please choose from one of the options and then get your customers to actually choose one of the options you cannot make them at this point to choose uh, either this one or this one 
I believe, because checkbox is required, then this exact checkbox needs to be clicked so that uh, they can press the submit button. So it requires a bit of playing with it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're creating, but using this, you can probably create something very nice. Okay, so I went through three of the questions from Ron. He has a couple more. Let me just see what is happening inside. Mark is asking, I missed the last update video. Will it be replayed? Uh, yes, Mark, there is a replay available. It is on cutt.ly forward slash gf replay. Here we go. You go to that one. It will redirect you to the Groove Digital Academy where there is a replay available. It is very good, and I highly suggest you to watch it. Um, I'm having major challenges transferring my domain. It's going to 404 page. Well, this could mean a couple of things. This could be a problem with Cloudflare or publishing your site from Groove pages. So I'm not quite sure this would need to be looked into. However, I suggest in case you want to try something yourself, try to unpublish your page so just make sure that both of these checkboxes are visible publish it this way and then once it's saved then um, just open it in, the, in open your site in an incognito window see what's happening and then just publish your domain one more time see if it actually got it to work if you don't see anything um, go into I'm not sure if you're using Cloudflare. You should use Cloudflare. This is the recommended thing when you are connecting your domains to, to Groove pages. Um, go into Cloudflare and see the settings. Most probably some of the DNS records are not set up correctly. You, there should be three, one for the C name for www, one for the C name uh, for your root domain, and one for the MX record. So these three domain uh, name servers are needed to be set up um, either if you're using your your uh, either if you're using sorry cloudflare or your own domain register but yes so just double check that in case you need help uh, find the video on youtube where i go through step by step on domain groove pages um here we go full guide on got, getting your uh, domain connected and this would actually help you. You can also have smaller videos, which Simon did. There is a minute of uh, Groove Funnels walkthrough, Groove Pages custom domain. Uh, you can watch this playlist. There is a couple of videos, I think nine. Uh, you can go through this one as well. He goes actually step by step, but he does shorter videos and not so in depth as me. But yeah, there is a lot of content when you get stuck. Ding, 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 ding. I have also had not no success getting my videos to work on my site. I'm not quite sure. There is also a video on this one. Uh, videos, Groove Pages. Um, adding your videos to your site in Groove Pages. This is a shorter video of 22 minutes. Oh, I go in depth into embedding your videos um, using the Vimeo or the YouTube elements from Groove Pages. Um, I don't know what the issue is just by typing in your question you have an issue uh, or you haven't had success but i'm pretty sure my video explanation over here will help you get your uh, your problem sorted out dun, dun, dun. question from leo what's the best way to optimize your site even further on mobile also to increase the page speed insight result in general so page speed insight is actually telling you what you need to do you just need to know what you are looking at so let me just find mm, let me just find the site let's just type in uh, page speed insights I'll just use it from Google, PageSpeed Insights and LemonMedia.online. Okay. This is a very simple website, just one block with a contact form on it. But it is actually 85 on mobile and on desktop, it's almost 100. I would need to uh, 
work on the images so over here it actually say says what are your opportunities serve images in the next gen formats we cannot change this one um but it says image formats like jpeg 2000 webp often provide better compression than png or jpeg which means faster download and less consumption we are actually building in a solution to have the web uh, the images uh, loaded in webp which will make the, the sites look faster but once you for example converted it to jpeg 2000 and you re-uploaded the image you have potential savings of basically half half of the the image size that is it now um, it actually says what you would need to do over here so in case you're not familiar with something i i suggest you to to look into uh google just google it and it will actually tell you how much <laughs> my phone is coming online let me just there we go um my phone just came online when i said google but Mm, yeah, so you would need to look into this one. I'm not quite sure what it will say for your site, but it will be probably just to uh, just to, I mean, serve static assets, uh, cache policy. If you connect your site to Cloudflare, if you if you use smaller images, um, if you don't use a lot of different fonts, it will be actually okay and it will be very fast even faster than most of your most of the competitors websites so i don't think you should focus very strongly on getting your your uh, sites better than it is just serve smaller images and the the rest will be handled by groove pages as i mentioned we are working on different features that are not on the on the infographic itself because um there's no point we would need to have an infographic that is like two three minutes long in case you're just scrolling constantly um, if we would put all the features that are coming on there so we just didn't do that but there is a lot of funky stuff coming uh, which you will be very happy with um... I'm having difficulty finding the questions. Guys, in case you have a question and you are popping it into the uh, comment section, please put a Q dash in front of it so that I, that, that I know that this is for me. Otherwise, it is very hard for me to load in all the questions. Uh, sometimes some people answer each other's questions and then I cannot find it. Um, so the redirection that... Uh, that happens with domain.com forward slash campaign name can be done inside group funnels um i don't know what kind of redirection so when you actually have a site on on in groove funnels and then you want to publish it you actually give it a name so it will be for example on, on your on your pages hosted with groove pages you will add a name which will be forward slash something in case you publish your site with your own domain let me just refresh it. in case you publish your site with your own domain um the index page the first page over here will be um, your domain.com. However, the next page, it says over here, page dash two. You can change the page URL over here. So what you're saying, campaign name. So if you publish this one, you can see I, I misspelled it, of course. But once you publish on your own domain, it would be yourdomain.com forward slash campaign name. So this is basically what you are doing inside here. Um, bum, 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 bum. OK. I can see here, David, is Mike Fusem? You can do it with third party. I'm not quite sure what Mike was referring to when I said that. Uh, could be the optimizing the images, could be something else. Not quite sure. Mm, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he answered to the to the to the person that was asking the question. Um, 
okay there's a question i cannot upload picture to my files in image library uh, to use on group pages is this an issue you're aware of uh goran i'm not aware of any issues most probably um, i helped customers with the similar issue when they tried to upload images that there were like 10 megabytes or more when you have huge images like those you cannot upload them it it says invalid something it gives you like a red box um because of the size and let me just find that post where i actually helped the the customer it was a couple of days ago i think yes the day before yesterday um if you know the error message that you get just search in the group you will find it and the solution that i gave but basically i referred the people to image compressor compressor so there is a website i think imagecompressor.com you upload your files uh, and then it will shrink it down so it will not uh, work on losing the the quality of the images but just to have the size of the image smaller let me just demonstrate it with something with an image that i have i know that the image is big let me just see if this no, this is very small image i'm trying to find something that is very small maybe this one 3.9 megabytes okay so this is just a website template it's four megabytes as you can see it is uploading very slowly but when you use this optimized zilla image compressor.com it will actually shrink it down it will give you an option to see the difference uh, in quality of course it will lose a, a bit of quality but it will actually give you the option to to optimize the image that you are using um it's possible to search and use free stock photos it it's only possible not that i'm aware of you can upload your files and let me just demonstrate it i hope this will not break because then i would look like a fool but yeah let me just try to upload an image that i have on my site uh, so for example this one let's see if it uploads there i go so it uploaded select and there we go so the image is actually uploading but it is very small so if you work with small images it, it will be working so it is actually giving you the, the option to to see the whole site let me see if i can so you can work with um with different optimizations it is giving you now the different parts of the page and how uh, optimize it is you can um, you can optimize it further if you want it will be loading it in loading the changes and it will also tell you what the size of it is uh, so for example from four megabytes we got it down to 913 megabytes the, the quality of it is not much different I cannot see a lot of different difference in there so once you click apply it will be actually compressing it it takes a bit of time but then you can just download it very simply there will be a button over here you download it and then you have a smaller image not four megabyte pic image but a much smaller one you can just download it and then use this one it is 78 percent better um, than it was previously so that's just a tip Goran you can try out I'm pretty sure you can um, you can use that okay F Miami hi David I'm having an issue with creating a new page and then deleting it once this action happens the deleted page pops up again linked randomly to a part of the site any ideas um, I'm not quite sure I would need to look into this or actually the devs would need to look into that in case you delete a page it definitely should not pop back on linked randomly to the part of the site so um, please reach out to me or directly to the support they can they can connect you to the de developers um, somebody would need to look into this one this shouldn't be happening <laughs> Is there a way to use JavaScript for moving backgrounds? Yes, you can just use it in the in the code that you get either uh, 
um, if you want to have, for example, in the background of this one, you can add on your code over here. Um, this is on the block. In case you want to add it, add it on as a as a separate element, you can just pull in the code embed somewhere and use it here. Or if you want, you can use it on the page level or the site level. Um, I don't know why you would do that, but you can. Mm, awesome tabs. Um, I'm still in the free program and as an affiliate. Can I create landing page? Because I have tried many times and I cannot create nothing. That is very, very bad if you cannot create anything. It is a page builder, so you can create landing pages. And I created landing pages, a lot of them actually. There is step-by-step -step videos you can follow on that one. Um, the best way is actually to go to the Groove Digital Academy. You all have access to it. Um, once you go into the library, uh, you can go to Groove Funnels Training, and then you will see Lemonade. Here you have a Live Build Mondays. So these are all the pages that I created from scratch, like book landing page or um, bum, 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 funnels, coming soon pages, or web, one page websites, or beautiful. Uh, building out a beautiful landing page using groove pages you can watch this one i mean there's so much that you can uh, you can go through it is just it is just amazing like building a landing page with embedded groove cell check out we actually built out a page connected it to groove to groove cell so i'm not quite sure how you cannot create anything you have here a lot of different uh, builds you can just click on it in a, in a couple of, uh, of hours, you can actually build out your full site using this process. So please just use the content that you have on your hands that you have available to actually get it done. Okay. Question from Dean. When importing a site, where will that option be found in Groove Pages? Uh, and how would the pixel work that we put on our site to very well. Now, Dean, this is a question for the future. Uh, you know that when this comes out, I will be all over it and I will be showing it. I'm struggling to, to explain it to you once this feature is not out. I would still need to test it out and I would still need to, uh, to play with it to be able to explain it. The only part I know is that when you will create a new page or something here, there will be an option which will say import a site or import a page you type in the domain name here and that's it how the pixel will work or how the code will be working i have no information on that yet but we'll just need to see when it comes out okay so this was the the, the last question i answered from dean i will just pop him back here and answer a couple of other questions dave champagne i love the name uh, is groove pay in canada and how does it work um so in case you're asking if is groove pay available in canada i'm pretty sure it is if you're asking if if the company groove pay is in canada no it isn't um how does it work so groovepay.com you can just go on it and then actually read through why choose us how do we compare? In case you are working with Stripe or PayPal, we have very similar processes. It is just a, um, our own solution and it is a, a cheaper solution. So you can give them a call, you can apply online actually, and then start selling with it. Um, yeah, I don't have more information because I didn't play with it, but you have here a lot of different information and I just suggest you to, to try to apply. You will not lose anything if you try to apply. You see here there is a lot of different options you can choose from uh, which country you are from. You choose your country and then basically you can set yourself up here. Um, how do we view our live page by direct link from groove pages after edits and not just a preview i that only shows internal url um so sandra the i the the 
the preview button is to actually preview the design of the page it is loading in only the the design code the styling so it will not be giving you the urls and the buttons and things like this i would need to refresh my builder now but um, yes so if you would like to preview it you would need to publish it i suggest you to not publish on your own domain while you are still working and building out your page but host it a host aside with groove pages and then just publish it somewhere so that it is actually online so that you can preview it and test it on your mobile phone so that you can preview it and test it on different devices uh, that you have so that it is looking exactly the way you would like it to look like um, but yeah, that's the only way to actually test it to be live so that you can access it from different places uh, is to publish it on the Groove Pages subdomain. It, you will, nobody will be able to see the subdomain only in case you share it. So, for example, in case you have a, um, a family member or or a assistant or somebody that is working with your designer or something and you want to share your site with them, then you can actually publish it, copy over the link and then send it to them. Otherwise it will not be found in Google or something as you are just building it out. Um, how do we edit inline, uh, how do we edit line spacing with a block, uh, within a block, sorry, for a portion of text, not just the letter spacing? Okay, so this is a good question and I hope I can answer it over here. So this is some text and I will just just do it like this so this is one text element as you can see everything highlighted over here is a text element if i want i can separate it so i want this text to be here so now our text editor is a bit different from than it was before once you select a part of the text that was uh, that was um separated with uh with with space in between so now you actually press enter a couple of times like that then you create create spacing once you go out of it you will see it is separated now in different uh, different paragraphs uh, this is what you would need to do to actually separate the blocks of text um, in case you want you can style separate paragraphs separate blocks of text uh, differently so on this part i want my text to be this big the other parts didn't change as you can see so i want this part only to be red and then I come over here and I select, for example, the red color. So now when you go out, this one is red, this one is big, but everything else stay the same. So this is something that you can play with and uh, test it out. But if you want to separate the text, you would need to use this the, the enter button. I know you answered this before, but I can't remember which video uh, was the size uh, 1024 by 723 pixel for an image span right across the page. How do I make the image to go right across the page? Uh, Barbara, in case you are talking about the width of an image, it actually doesn't matter that much. Would the images I usually use as, um, for example, this is a 720p image. Um, you can also use bigger resolutions of images. So for example, um this is not i think this one is styled so i usually use this one 1920 by something i just type in in the first part 1920 and then i update uh this is what i usually use for my sites it is always looking very sharp and, and it is not extremely big image size when i when i uh, type in those details in case you want to to have the image covering the whole section on the top and the bottom and the left and right as well you would need to just uh, so populate the background then the whole width will be covered but then in case you want the, the whole width of the page to be also covering as well then you need to go into sizing sizing height relative to the page and then you you just pull this over to 100 viewable height or visible height I'm not quite sure which one is a correct uh, or how to say it correctly, but VH. And then on every device, it will be covering the the visible height. So in case you're watching on your mobile, it will be actually fitting the height of your mobile screen. Um, I hope this is the correct answer that you were asking in this post. And I think this is finished, so I can close this. Um, okay.
I'm just scrolling through the to the questions. David, use handbrake to optimize videos. I'm not quite sure what handbrake is. Handbrake. Open source video transcoder. Okay, yeah, you can use that. So convert videos from nearly any format, free and open source, multi-platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Handbrake is a tool for converting videos from nearly any format to a selection of modern, wildly supported codecs. There you go. Um, good. Thanks for the tip, Dean. Um, for the video, should we use the entire copied link or the ID link on YouTube? URL. So when you're using YouTube video URLs, you need to just copy it. For example, let me show you. And then here, YouTube, you can click and you can see what it asks. Video ID. It's asking for the ID. So what the ID is, is just the text, everything after the equal sign. So you take the equal sign and everything before you delete it and then you actually update it will be showing the the video itself as you can see now i have the video i am i copied over the link from it is already watched until a certain part and 172 seconds were watched uh, so it copied over the whole section if i want to just uh, just publish and save it you can just leave it like that and then it will be working fine um good let's just go on to the next section dun, 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 dun. tina joiner is there any way to upload a folder like an asset folder it is not a possibility now uh, we don't have um the options and basically the hosting uh for users to upload their own stuff um, some people would probably want to upload different videos and music and things like this and we don't have that option at this point I don't even know if we will have that option um, we will we have this image library basically to to host your images but I don't think that this will be a possibility um, certainly not certainly not at the at in this year, um, I haven't heard anything about these options to have an asset folder. Uh, okay, uh, Johan is saying, I learned so much from your trainings. Thank you very much, Johan. This is the point when I do that. Um, I really like to help out everybody that I can. So this is why I do those Question: Hi, David. I cannot connect extension active campaign. The update button always stays white. Any open issue about that? Um, I don't know where that actually happens. My nose is so itchy, guys. Um, I don't know where the, the, the problem happens. So in case you could just record a, a short loom.com video. Loom is just an extension that you can install in your browser. When you point, you can click and then start talking and then you can record your screen and the camera or just the screen um, and then basically turn this off and you record the screen itself. Um, you get a link at the end of the recording you share this link with me and i can look into it if this is a uh, an, a bug or an issue i can forward it on to the developers or you can also report it here in the feedback of course i cannot time so feedback.groovefunnels.com groove pages uh, bugs you can create um, a post over here and then the the developers are actually going through these and fixing them one by one. Good. Leo is asking, do you know uh, of any way to, uh, to validate emails automatically when somebody submits an email in your opt-in pages so that uh, that way we get real emails and emails that won't damage your own email reputation. Uh, some of the autoresponders, some of the email services have their own inbuilt solution for valid validating emails. Um, the last time I saw is, I think it was Moosanders or some, uh, some um, platform like that. 
Um, we don't have an inbuilt solution for this one, and I don't know if we will have something like that. Um, but no, at this point, I don't know of any. If your email marketing service platform um, can do that, then <laughs> okay, Donna is watching us as well. Um, yeah, if if you if your marketing solution is offering that, that is great. Uh, but Donna is giving us the info. GrooveMail will validate. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much, Donna. You should actually be on the call on these live streams. And I am sometimes I'm actually struggling on giving all the information correctly, but I'm happy when somebody chimes in. Uh, but yes, even if I don't know the answers to some of your questions, I usually say that I will find out. <laughs> Leo is saying, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, even if I don't know the answers, I'm going to find out. And of course, I will let you know. Um, good. I can see Anna is saying, I just tried to change the video ID, but it doesn't update or save it. Let's just see if it if it works or not. Error occurred. Please try again. Okay. I, I think this could be an issue with YouTube. Let me just try to use a different video. Safe preview. Mm, I'm not sure, Anna. It is actually here. Let me just try to to publish this to video test. We'll see if it works. Um, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Donna Fox is saying I'm not camera ready today. No worries. Um, awesome. So I will continue on answering the questions. I had a couple more from Ron at the beginning. Hey, David, do you know if you can also receive ideal payments via GroovePay? Ideal is payment uh, MIM method in the Netherlands. Uh, if this is not yet possible, can it be a future a feature request? Um, I think I saw that inside the feedback.groovefunnels.com. It was somewhere there, I think, in Groove Pages or Groove Cell. People are putting the feature request all over the place, so it is ideal. Ideal pay. So it is over here. It would need to be uh, upvoted. Here we go. For Europe. Um, Maybe it is also available in the Groove Cell feature requests. Let's just check. Ideal payment. Here we go again. Um, so, yeah, I uploaded it. Please come over here and upload it, Ron. I know that Stripe has an inbuilt solution for Ideal. When you go over to Stripe, um, let me just try to, to, to show it here. I will just quickly log in because... I don't want you to see all my Stripe accounts and details. It's not that I'm secretive or hiding something from you guys. It's just that, you know, privacy and stuff. Um, let's just see. I want to show you that I, this is inbuilt to Stripe. So in case you are using Stripe, I know that Netherlands are on the Stripe. Uh, lists. I am from Croatia and we don't have Stripe in here, so I cannot use it for anything yet. But um, if you are, you can turn on Ideal from Stripe as well. Mm, okay, so this is what we have. This is where you where you come. This is your uh, your account. You come into settings over here, and then in the bottom somewhere let's just see uh, bank accounts and scheduling I think this is the option you need to choose and then over here um, no payment method sorry payment 
in the pen payments and then payment methods and then you have these options to actually when you when you turn on you're not in the test state anymore when you actually turn it on here is the ideal and you can activate it also in test mode ideal enables customers in the netherlands to pay directly via online payments from their bank um, there is a couple of different options for sepa or sepa direct debit in case you are also in the eurozone you can use that one but at this point it is not an option separately you can do ideal payments through stripe okay that is about that um he had a couple more questions that was the last question for now thank you very much for a beautiful value uh, valuable lemonade thursdays thank you very much ron for joining in um awesome donna is there a new groove car challenge starting today yep it is and it is going to be found inside the facebook group i already did a post of it on it and it is here um okay so this is live i will just actually oh i need to click here i clicked on the wrong button so hi carmen <laughs> she's just saying hi david lemon um so i'm posting in the the link to the to the video which i'm not quite sure where i should click now um i will post it to the to the comment section so you can just click on it tonight we will be working with christine case who is an awesome person who is always helping us here in the in the live streams so she will be our test subject she will be the person that we will develop the store for um this is starting from scratch so groove cart from beginning christine doesn't have a store yet we will create a store for her set it up correctly and then she will be on the way of conquering the world with her products so yeah that is coming um yeah so excited a new one is starting groove card challenge there we go um bum, bum, bum. guys i think i answered all the questions so far um let me just scroll up back i didn't even take a sip of my lemonade yet oh okay so i said anna i will answer this one uh, is groove card down it's not allowing a login or accepting the code it sends out to change passwords let's check it out um my.groovecard.com okay logging in let's see it is loading it is actually loading in it's opening the dashboard so Anna, no, Groove Cart is not down. I'm not quite sure what is wrong, what what could be wrong with your account. But please reach out to support in chat. They could have a look. Maybe there's just some setting is is wrong or something, so it doesn't let you log in anymore. Um, Um, pum, pum, pum. I'm actually going through the comments again just to see if I missed something. Please, if I missed something, please let me know. Um, I don't think I did. Oh, this is awesome. My 14 year old son and I are doing this together for a groove cart. That is awesome. Carmen, this uh, congratulations! This is something awesome that is that is needed. A lot of more parents would need to actually work with their children on on getting up to to par with uh, education. This is something they like to do. I remember when I was a kid, I always wanted to be where on the side of my parents when they were doing something on the computer, and it is fun for them. You give them a task and actually. They need to do it and they feel important and they feel needed and i i just cannot wait my one-year-old son to to grow up so that we can actually build uh, sites and businesses and profit together that will be awesome um david lemon i asked in the chat and the and other are having the same issue it responds first with employee doesn't exist uh 
I'm not sure, Anna. I will I will contact somebody that would get uh get who that would be able to look into it. But I saw you were posting a couple of days ago some posts on Facebook working in GrooveCard. So I don't know if this is now a new issue or it is a you couldn't even enter to GrooveCard. We'll need to check that out for you. Um, any news about GrooveMail? Dennis, yes. I suggest you to head over to, to this link over here. I'll share. So C-U-T-T dot L-Y forward slash G-F replay. This is just a shortened link that is leading to a much longer uh, link, which is the actual webinar where, we, where Mike and the team... Um, unveiled what is coming in the next six months uh, development and there is also an infographic that is available it is here in the, when you are in the facebook uh, facebook group on the side or in the recent files you will also have a look over here uh, more files and then you can just click on this one groove 2020 schedule infographic once you actually load this in it will download it for you and it will look like okay so i need to actually save it um it will look like this one and here you can actually see that groove mail will be coming out on the 24th of august and then later on once we warmed it up you will be able to import your own contact and lists over here on 22nd of september um, watch the webinar uh, mike explained why this is done but uh but yes this is basically the update on on groove mail um question when my form submits to mailchimp only their email goes in i cannot get their first name to submit um carmen there was an update on that one and i did a video it is available in inside the facebook group um Try to follow this one over here so go to tutorial videos i will also link it out, out to you are you struggling um to set up MailChimp integration. And I actually went in there and, and explained how you can have a form with first name, last name, and your email, and then this to be actually uh, going through to MailChimp. MailChimp has its own strange way of naming. So the, the ID, the input ID and the input name need to be different than from other uh, companies. They need to be uppercase, so for the first name, it needs to be F name, all uppercase letters. The, the last name needs to be L name, so all uppercase letters, L-N-A-M-E. Um, but the email doesn't have to be uppercase. So you can just type in email, you can type in phone, you can type in uh, address, all lowercase, and it doesn't make a difference. But the first name, last name, for some reason, need to be uppercase. Um, check this out. Let me just find this and then pop it into the facebook chat um, you can just click on this one or find it yourself but i want to make it easier for you to not be searching through the whole group for this video um, here we go awesome so let me see uh, awesome karen jones already posted the link so uh, this is cut cutly the uh, forward slash GF replay, which is Groove Funnels replay. Mm. Okay. I would like that webinar link, please. Okay, so cutt.ly forward slash GF replay. There we go. perfect eldon is asking can we put this in the chat i can see that karen already did it cutt.ly gf replay um didn't see custom error message was demonstrated in this video um what do you mean by custom error message you cannot create custom error message the error message that you get inside the builder at this point or inside groove cell or groove cart they're all inbuilt into the system you cannot create your own custom ones if if this is your question um if this is not your question then you would probably need to elaborate a bit on that 
Um, tu, 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 tu. Okay. Mm, awesome. So at this point, guys, I don't see any more comments, any more questions. Um, let me see. There was a... Actually, no. Um, if you if you don't have any questions, then I will be ending this live stream now. We can meet later on at 6 p.m. There is the Groove Card Challenge starting out, so I'm really happy about that. I hope to see you all there. Um, if you want to actually start building out your store, you have to remember what Mike said. There is... Uh, there is going to be the freemium version of GrooveCart. So even if you're not a Platinum member yet, GrooveCart will be becoming free. So in case you learn it now, you will actually be able to jump in later on to start and immediately build out your business uh, or shopping um, or, or web shop or an e-commerce site uh, for drop shipping, for print on demand, for whatever you would like. It is going to be free and it is going to be awesome. There's so many good stuff coming. Um, how can I collect email address of audience from landing page? Um, I actually created a couple of videos on this one, but it is using this one, contact form. So you create a landing page, similar to this, what I have at this point on my on my website, on my screen here. Um, you create your, your contact form, or you also can choose from the, from the block. So there is... Um, designed forms you can choose from these ones for example this looks nice you can choose one of these and then hook it up basically to to an integration so whenever you put in your input fields you need to uh, you need to set it up over here you need to set up the submit button and then you click out of it until you come to a form container this is where you set up your uh, your integration you click over here you can set it up with mailchimp you can set it up with zapier uh, for more integrations you click over here to the upper right hand side corner uh, click my integrations add a new one and then you will have all of them here so this is where you would need to set up your integration and once you did that then uh, you choose the integration it will ask you where you want to send the people after they submitted their details you can send them to a url or to a different page on your site or somewhere else and this will be actually it there is a loads of videos on this one and the one i suggest you to watch is let me see where I can go. I will go into the Facebook group. There is a video on the complete process where I created the, the site. I connected it to a custom, custom domain and I set it up with MailChimp. So this is going to be here in the tutorial videos. And then let me just scroll down a bit. Um, I'll also share this link with you guys here so you don't have to uh, scroll a lot. In this video, I go through the complete process of how to create a bridge page, what it is and what it does. Also, I um, how to manage Cloudflare and main issues that come up with it. Um, pom, pom, pom. This is it. Basically, this is the video you would need to watch. It will actually explain you the, the whole process. So, Tan, I am pasting this link inside here for you. Everybody on Facebook, you can just uh, search for complete process of bridge page or search for bridge page and then this video will come up. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. I am going to be wrapping it up. It, was, it has been an hour and I hope you ask your questions and I hope I answered your questions correctly if you still need something please tag me inside the video or comment section and then i will be able to assist you with that if not myself then i will look for help but yes i want you all to succeed and i want you all to be uh, able to create the pages that you want to publish them and then actually make money with them so yes christine is here Mike's update Tuesday webinar replay, cutly.gf replay. Um, you should watch it if you didn't yet. I highly suggest it. And then, yeah, see you on tonight's GrooveCart video I or GrooveCart training. Uh, Christine, me, and uh, John Garcia will be there waiting for you. And 
hopefully we will build out our page together so that being said thank you very much guys see you in the groove card challenge bye bye